All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a stretched resolution in Valorant the right way and the updated way that actually works in 2025. I know a lot of tutorials skip steps or tell you the wrong things about full screen versus windowed full screen, but in this video, I'll explain everything clearly so you get that perfect stretched look without black bars or bugs. Let's jump straight into it. Step one, set up Valorant correctly before anything else. First, open up Valorant and go into your Settings, then Video, then General tab. Now here's what you want to do carefully. Set your Display Mode to Windowed Full Screen. Yes, not Full Screen. Windowed Full Screen is actually the key here. If you use Full Screen, the stretch might not apply properly when you set it later, and you'll end up wondering why it didn't work. So remember, Windowed Full Screen. This step is super important. Next, go down to Aspect Ratio Method and set it to Fill. Do not leave it on Letterbox or you'll get black bars on the sides instead of a stretched image. So again, Windowed Full Screen plus Fill. Once you've done that, leave everything else as it is. Don't change your resolution, don't touch graphic settings. We're keeping it original for now. Now close Valorant completely. Not minimize, close the game fully so it's not running in the background. Step two, disable your monitors using Device Manager. Next step, and I know this sounds weird, but trust me, this helps make sure your stretched resolution applies correctly. Right click on your Start menu and open Device Manager. Scroll down until you see Monitors and expand it. You'll see your monitors listed there. If you have one monitor, right-click it and choose Disable Device. If you have two, disable both. If you have three, disable all three. Your screen might flicker or go black for a few seconds. That's normal. We're not deleting anything, we're just forcing Windows to reinitialize display settings so that your new custom stretched resolution will actually stick. Once you've disabled them all, close Device Manager. Step 3. Create your custom stretched resolution in NVIDIA Control Panel. Now it's time for the main part, creating the stretched resolution. Right-click anywhere on your desktop and open NVIDIA Control Panel. Once you're inside, go to the section on the left called Display, then Change Resolution. At the bottom, click Customize. Now hit Create Custom Resolution. You'll see some fields to fill out. Here's where we'll create the stretched resolution. For me, I'm going with 1568 by 1080. That's a great sweet spot for Valorant. It gives a nice horizontal stretch without making things look too distorted. You can use the same numbers or experiment later with other ones, like 1440 by 1080 or 1600 by 1080. So type this in. Horizontal pixels, 1568. Vertical lines, 1080. Leave everything else the same. Don't change refresh rate or timing settings. Once done, click Test. Your screen will go black for a second, then come back. When it does, click Yes to confirm. Now your new stretched resolution is successfully created. Click OK and you'll see it listed under your available custom resolutions. Step 4. Fix black bars. Adjust desktop size and position. Next up, we'll make sure you don't get any black bars when you apply your stretch. Still inside NVIDIA Control Panel, click on Adjust Desktop Size and Position on the left sidebar. Under Scaling, make sure to choose Full Screen. Then under Perform Scaling On, select GPU. Also, make sure to check Override the Scaling Mode set by Games and Programs. This is what forces games like Valorant to actually use your stretched resolution instead of trying to stick to native scaling. After you've set all of that, click Apply at the bottom. 
Now you've basically told your GPU to stretch everything fully across your display. No more black bars, no borders, nothing. It'll stretch cleanly edge to edge. Step five, apply your stretched resolution. Now go back to the change resolution section again in NVIDIA control panel. Select your new stretched resolution, in my case, 1568 by 1080 and hit apply. Your display should immediately stretch out. You'll notice things look a bit wider. That's exactly what we want. Don't worry if the desktop looks weird or stretched. It's just temporary. We'll make Valorant use it properly in a second. Step six, reopen Valorant and double check your settings. Now open Valorant again. Once it loads up, go back to settings, followed by video, then general tab. Now double check these two settings again, display mode, windowed full screen, and aspect ratio method, fill. Sometimes after applying the stretch, the game might switch one of these back to something else automatically. If it's switched back to full screen or letterbox, change it again to windowed full screen plus fill. If you skip this, your stretch won't show up properly, so make sure these are correct before moving on. After confirming, close the settings tab. Step seven, lock in your stretch again. Now tab out of Valorant, don't close it, just press Alt-Tab and go back to your NVIDIA control panel. Select your stretched resolution again, 1568 by 1080, and click Apply and then Yes. This makes sure the stretched res is locked in across both your desktop and Valorant. When you go back into Valorant, it should now look perfectly stretched. No black bars, no issues. Step eight, test your stretched resolution in Valorant. Now load into the practice range or a custom game and look around. You'll immediately notice that everything looks a bit wider. The agents, the weapons, the map, all slightly stretched. It gives that classic old school CS look that a lot of players love. Some people say stretched makes enemies look bigger and easier to hit. Others just like the feel and fog it gives. Either way, it's totally personal preference, and now you can try it for yourself. Step nine, re-enable your monitors, optional. If you disabled your monitors earlier, don't forget to re-enable them now. Open Device Manager again, go to Monitors, and right-click each one that says Disabled. Then choose Enable Device. Your regular display setup will come back, and your stretched resolution will stay saved inside NVIDIA, so you won't have to repeat everything next time. And that's it, you're done. That's the full method for getting stretched resolution in Valorant without black bars, without bugs, and without third-party tools. If this tutorial helped you out, drop a like and subscribe. I've got more Valorant performance guides, tweak tutorials, and setup tips coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.